I had not met Gal until Comic-Con this last year at San Diego Comic-Con, and even that was very glancing, and she's a very busy woman. She, you know, We follow each other on Instagram, that's, that's quite nice. And Momoa, actually, he and I have gotten to chat a couple of times, um, but not before I started doing the movie. Um, you know, just kind of talking about the the world and the universe and the, you know what it means to be in it and all that jazz. He's been super, super cool. Well, just that we finally made a movie that Black Adam is in and we get to get to that point. And if The Rock is uh, playing Black Adam, I'm very much looking forward to punching The Rock in that, well, not The Rock in the face, but you know, punching Black Adam in the face. I think just a claim to fame, like how many people have said that they got to be in a fight with The Rock on screen? You know, and, and won because he knows. I have to, it's my, I mean, I'm the guy. I'm the protagonist. I wouldn't, unless they do some crazy, like, you know, like um, Empire Strikes Back situation, and all of a sudden I've lost my hand and I find out that The Rock is my dad, which would be pretty also, also you know, dope. I'd, uh, well, I think it'd be fun to watch <clears throat> Shazam and Thor have a fight, seeing as how they're both kind of like gods of thunder. I think that would be apropos. Well, the Justice League would beat Shazam well, Shazam is in the Justice League, but if he had to fight against all of the rest of the Justice League, I don't think he, I think he'd not uh, fare all that well. I mean, he's very, very powerful, but Superman alone, he and he and Superman would be kind of a fair fight. And now you got to throw in Wonder Woman and Batman and Aquaman and Flash and Cyborg. That's just like a big, you know, they they would just hold me down and tickle me. It, it would be very embarrassing. I think I could fight against all of the other ones and beat them except for Superman that, as we've learned in the comics, they're very evenly matched. But I still think I could even beat Superman, depending on the day, you know what I mean? I think Superman, I think, I think you know, given that we're very similar in our powers and stuff, and he's been doing it for a minute, and I, you know, to have that kind of, you know, mentor, if you will, that takes me under his wing and shows me the ropes, I think that'd be pretty fun. Well, I mean, I was uh, fortunately already in the gym for about a month before I got the job, like back in the gym. Three months before we started shooting, two months before I went to Toronto, the first two months I put on about 24 pounds of muscle and, well, <laughs> some form of muscle. I mean, putting on 24 pounds is, is quite a lot of everything. And then I've carved that and then would go into another build phase and carve down from that. So, I mean, I've been in the gym about six days a week for the last year and a half, which to some people, they're like, that's so insane. I'm like, it's, it's actually really not. I mean, if you think about how we used to be hunter-gatherers or whatever, we would go run around in the plains and climbing mountains and trees and going and harvesting berries and nuts and things and chasing down wild animals. I mean, that was a lot of physical exertion that we used to do as homo sapien. And now we typically we sit in chairs and we do this a lot. And, you know, oh God, going to the gym for an hour a day, how dare you? But it, it's totally doable and it's changed my life. It's amazing. Literally, if you can cut almost every single processed grain, carbohydrate and uh, sugar out of your diet, it, you would be shocked what the, the changes would be. Unfortunately, a lot of us, you know, really, really enjoy carbohydrates, particularly in the form of tequila. I really like those those carbohydrates. We did a lot of uh, stunt and, and fight training uh, leading up to the movie, about a month's worth. I mean, I was huffing and puffing, uh, given which exercise we were doing. Like, I don't know if you've ever done boxing before, boxing training before, but it it, it, it just, it's the most crazy cardio, like keeping your arms up and constantly swinging punches and, you know, and, and, and on, you know, uh, what, are these, what are these called? Fast hit mats? That's not the technical term. Uh, you know, just staying that uh, high in your 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 um, beats per minute, like you're, it, it was wrecking me basically by cardio. I smoked like a pack a day for about 20 years and quit a couple of years ago, but you know, I think my lungs are still trying to come back to what they used to be. And when you go and do like super heavy cardio, it can be really gnarly. I'd like those movies to still be fun-filled, joy-filled experiences and adventures. So maintaining that, you know, bit of innocence and optimism and youthfulness that's in the character, obviously, but then I would love for him to start growing up a little bit too, you know? I mean, they, they do. <laughs> Kids do that, they tend to grow up. And, uh, and kind of seeing and experiencing more of the wisdom of Solomon, which is the S in my namesake, and I think that could be interesting. And then, you know, there's some things that are teed up in this movie uh, little Easter eggs and whatnot that I think would be cool to go, you know, run with in some sequels.